So I will say shalom again to everyone. Thank you for being here at the service. It's just going to be me today. Patrick has a uh, prior engagement, so we're going to do a shorter service. And I'd like to start with a tale for everyone. This tale is called Ask Yourself. When Reb Yitzhak of Vorky was a new husband, his wife complained about him every chance she got. Reb Yitzhak chose to endure her insults in silence. When he saw that she treated the servants in the same manner, he went to his Rebbe, Reb David of Lelo, for advice. The Rebbe listened and said, Why are you asking me? Ask yourself. Reb Yitzhak was confused by his teacher's response. He knew his teacher was trying to teach him something, but he was unsure as to what it was. Then he recalled the teaching of the Baal Shem Tov. If you suffer from the anguish of servants, it is due to your own error in action. If your spouse curses you, it is because you have failed to master your tongue. If your children trouble you, it is due to your obsession with errant thoughts. If you align these three, these deeds, words, and thoughts, with godliness, if your thought, word, and deed are holy and hallowing, then all this distress turns to joy. Suddenly, Reb Yitzhak understood what his teacher was saying. If he wanted to improve the situation of others, he must begin with himself. So we see that there are three levels of reality. There's physical, psychological, and spiritual. And each has its core uh, principle. The physicist um, Werner Heisenberg <clears throat> proved that at the deepest levels of the physical world, we know nothing for certain. Every act of investigation colors that which we are investigating. And even math becomes a metaphor. The Baal Shem Tov provides us with the principle governing knowledge in the psychological dimension. Everything we encounter is colored by the quality of our thoughts. God provides us with the third principle, be still and know, as it says in Psalms 46.10. Be still and know. When you stop investigating, when you stop reacting, when you stop doing, then there is a knowing that surpasses all self-centered understanding. This knowing comes not from you, but through you, from God. Reb David knew that before Reb Yitzhak could engage his wife constructively, he would have to let go of his own view of the situation. He would have to realize that he did not know the whole story and that his sense of justice was colored by his lack of knowledge. Acting and reacting from par partiality makes it impossible to be an impartial mediator. The same is true of you. To engage the world constructively, you have to cleanse your thoughts of partiality. You have to stop acting and reacting from your own limited knowledge. You have to be still and allow what is to be present without bias. Don't investigate, don't think, just receive, and then you will know how best to respond. Something to think about this Shabbat. So we will continue with Mincha service, page 21, if you're using your pocket sitter, otherwise the link is available in the chat window, or you can go to 3xdaily.org, uh, prayers, daily, three daily prayers, afternoon prayers, Mincha service. So I'll give you a second to find that. <clears throat> we face Jerusalem, and we'll begin. <clears throat> A psalm before the verses of praise, a song for the dedication of your people. I praise you, El Shaddai, God Almighty, for lifting me up above my enemies. Adonai Rapha, the Lord that heals, I called to you and you healed me. You kept my soul from destruction and preserved me from darkness. Sing to Melech HaMelechim, the King of Kings, and praise your name. Your anger is brief, but your love lasts forever. The night may bring weeping, but the dawn will bring peace. When everything was good in my life, I felt strong because you made me strong. But when I couldn't feel you, I was terrified. I pleaded with the Lord, what good would my death be? How can I honor and praise you if I am dead? Be compassionate to me and help me. You turned my sadness into dancing. You have taken away my darkness and dressed me in light so that my soul will praise you eternally. I deny I will praise you forever. Amen. We continue with the Kaddish. May your name be great and holy in the world which you have made in your way. May the presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One, blessed is He, be over you in your life and the lifetime of your people. Amen. May Adonai be blessed forever. 
the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One, blessed is He, is beyond all words. Blessed is Adonai. Amen. For those who choose to be chosen, for students and teachers of Torah, here or anywhere, may you all have blessings. Amen. May all of us have peace and life. Amen. We continue with the Amidah. I am grateful to you, protector of all, our God and God of our ancestors. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Leah, Elohe Rachel. Adon Olam, master of the world who created goodness, who inspires us to repair the world in compassion, king, queen, savior, and shield. Blessed are you, shield of the patriarchs, shield of the matriarchs, and of us all. Adon Olam, master of the world, give us knowledge. After giving us knowledge, accept our repentance. After accepting our repentance, forgive us our shortcomings. After forgiving us our shortcomings, redeem us. After redeeming us, heal us. After healing us, bless our lives. After blessing all of our lives, bring us together. After bringing us all together, judge us fairly. After judging us fairly, defeat the evil that is in us. After defeating the evil in us, strengthen our inclination from you to do good. Now that we are holy before you, make the earth heavenly for us. Hear our prayers and make us worthy of your goodness. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. Blessed are you, Lord our God, the Holy God. Baruch atah Adonai osei ha'shalom. Blessed are you, Lord our God, who makes peace. Baruch atah Adonai Shomeah Tefillah. Blessed are you, Lord our God, who hears our prayer. Amen. So, thank you for coming, everyone who's here, guests and viewers alike. We appreciate your presence here. It means a lot. It means that we are able to create a community of people who can connect to each other online despite what is said. That we can connect to each other and make meaningful interactions all over the world and not only in person. And this is an important point to keep in mind. Anyone out there, guests, um, who are anyone who watches the video who is interested in forming this community and assisting in creating this community, I would ask you to email me. Uh, at Michael, let me put my email address again here. Michael, I can't even spell my name. Michael at punktora.org, and let me know that you would like to be involved in creating this community. We have much need for many people, resources, time, and money. Everyone is welcome to contribute as much as they possibly can. We appreciate it a lot because we are creating the future of Judaism through our interactions together. So, we appreciate that. If anyone has anything that they would like to talk about, we can. Otherwise, I'd like to read um, a few to him in honor of some friends that could use the spiritual support. We can do a, uh, a quick meditation, Kabbalistic meditation to uh, for healing and support for all of our friends uh, with one shul and everyone else around the world. If uh, that's okay with everyone, we will um, do that next, and then we will close the afternoon service so everyone can go and have a wonderful Shabbat. We're going to read some Tehillim, some Psalms for healing for our friends. <clears throat> so first, I would like to ask everyone to relax. If you're standing, stand planted in the ground. If you're sitting, plant yourself. Feel a connection to the ground beneath you. I'd ask you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the air coming in and the air going out. Feel this pathway of movement. 
and I'd ask you to open yourself up. Open yourself up. And as you open yourself up inside, open your spirit and ask Hashem to send down energy. To send down healing energy, peaceful energy, energy for Shabbat, energy to create a healing space. And imagine the light. Imagine the light descending from heaven, descending from Hashem, descending from the universe, from creation, and filling you. And as it fills you, it activates the Sephira, the tree of life that is inside of us all. And it activates this light and, and feel this light inside. Feel this movement and this healing energy that's inside of you. And I'd ask you to hold that energy. And take a deep breath. And as you breathe in, breathe in shalom. Breathe in peace. And breathe out anger. And I ask you to take this energy and envision it spreading, spreading outwards from you, this light, this white light spreading outwards from you and spreading across your house and spreading throughout your street and your block and picture it spreading across the town, the city that you live in, the state and the planet and envision this energy circling the planet and healing the brokenness that's in the world, repairing the world, be an agent for change, an agent for healing. As Jews we are called to be holy and make the world holy, to elevate the sparks that exist within everything mundane and, and holy and sacred. So allow this light from the Creator to expand and repair the world and raise the sparks and recognize that there's sparks in you and there's sparks not only in you but in your relationships with others and these all are opportunities for mitzvah opportunities to create holiness so again breathe in peace shalom breathe out pain and anger send healing love to everyone and energy to those who need it and then when you feel comfortable open your eyes I'm going to continue with a blessing for before reading the Psalms May it be your will, Adonai, Lord, our God and God of our ancestors, that you pay heed and mercy to the psalms that I shall recite, and may they stand in love, fellowship, and companionship. So now we will recite Tehillim for peace, Psalm 46. Right. Oh. If you want to look that up online, if you have a uh, Tanakh near you, you want to read along, you can, but I will read this for everyone. We pray and we send peace out to those of us who are in need of it most. Psalm 46, in the upheavals of the Messianic era, God will shield Israel as he shields all distraught people who seek his support. For the conductor by the sons of Korah on the Alamos, a song. God is for us a refuge and strength, a help in distress, very accessible. Therefore we shall not be afraid when the earth is transformed and that mountains collapse in the heart of the seas. When its waters rage and are muddied, mountains quake in his majesty, Selah. A river, its streams will gladden the city of God, the most sacred of the dwellings of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not falter. God will help it toward morning. Nations are in turmoil, kingdoms totter. He has raised his voice, the earth dissolves. Hashem, Adonai, master of legions, is with us. A stronghold for us is the God of Jacob. Selah. Go and see the works of Hashem, who has wrought devastation in the land. He makes cessation of wars to the end of the earth. The bow will he will break and cut the spear chariots he will burn in fire. Desist and know that I am God. 
I shall be exalted among the nations, I shall be exalted upon the earth. Adonai, Master of Legions, is with us. A stronghold for us is the God of Jacob. So again, thank you, everyone who was with us. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom and peace.